Alright guys, this is Dogger with another Minecraft video. Today, this is episode 10 of Dogger 77's Minecraft World Tour. And let's quickly head up, head up this mountain. I want to give you a progress report on the Eats Road. Um, I'm basically working on it, um, yeah, relentlessly for a um, few days and hours. And yeah, it's taking shape. Um, in the end, um, I stuck with the glass. It's not that complicated and not too work intensive. I really thought it was more, um, yeah, it, um, involved more work, but it's doable. As you can see, all the way back there. The cool thing about the Eats Road is basically you need uh, nothing complicated to create it. You need some water. You need some um, sand to create a glass. Okay, you need some coal, but you got the wood all the way um, on the islands and stuff. And you can always chop off some and go step by step. And yeah, basically, I think eight to ten hours or something uh, in total. But that's the absolute maximum, I guess. Not not much longer. And <coughs> what I did whenever I came across natural formations, I tried to yeah, mold some somehow into the environment and today we're gonna add some um, blocks to it and for that reason yeah I got my 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 equipment with me basically what I did um, I did put up an infinite water source close to my building area and also always had the ovens with me and putting them down where I need them and have those four buckets and there we go make an infinite water source put up some torches <coughs> and also my ovens again to create class oops oh, it doesn't matter so first we need some charcoal I have no coal with me right now. And yeah, <coughs> and the other one, we're gonna load in some of the sand I still got. Yeah, and that's basically it. Um, usually I put down the workbench here to make the signs and stuff. And let me see, I got some glass with me. <coughs> Excuse me, so let's add on to the Eats Road and let's see how long it will take us to create another section here. Um, basically, for now, I want to make it over to the beach. And what I did is always started at the middle section here and then just go backwards like this. While we're doing that, um, I want to talk about some future plans and programs and ideas and stuff. Well, I got lots of feedback and I really love that. Keep on doing that. And some guy suggested that we should make the Eat Road that it joins the waterfall at our little base camp here. And so you directly move upward. I think it's a cool idea. I need to think of a neat way or a cool way to implement it and yeah we're probably gonna have it but let's see how it develops um, continue the section here this is the middle section and as you can see I'm not placing glass blocks below it that saves a lot of material and um, it's not needed and that's basically how I create those eat road sections. <coughs> also, really cool, um, let's wait till daytime and continue building, then I can explain a little bit better. But <coughs> I don't want to spoil the natural look of that area too much. And it would be cool to kind of mold all the buildings into the uh, site. And yeah, yeah, fall off again. <laughs> And yeah, basically, I think it's a cool idea. Maybe this mountain here—it's uh, a perfect location for a cave-like 
base and everything so I'm sure we're gonna do that or something like that yeah it's the first time actually I'm recording a video while building it's a totally new thing you got to concentrate on building and speaking at the same time so a new experience for me so if I talk crap all the time <laughs> yeah don't wonder so as you can see I will leave the natural part of the yeah, road like this and just add in the glass where it's needed so it saves some yeah that was one too many save some glass and it speeds up the whole process a bit so we made it and now it's time for the clean stone okay let's start this one needs to be glass, it looks kind of stupid like this. And off we go. Clean stone. And that's basically what I did all along the way. And as you can see, it's pretty quick. Um, we almost got one side of it ready. Okay, the most time consuming part is still um, ahead of us, namely putting in all the water. But, yeah, <coughs> it's doable. And I totally fail all the time. It's a kind of a different feeling when you're recording. Lags a bit. Okay, now let me see. Do I have some letters? Yes, I do. Okay, now time for the letters. As you can see it's also pretty quickly and now we need to dig out um, for our water sources so one two three dig out here one two three oh no first we need a sign again uh, I need to make some don't have many left so okay water sign <coughs> one, two, three, and another sign. Ah, I really think signs should be stackable. I mean, you use it so, you use them so much, and it's really annoying. That's basically the part that takes most time. Um, where do I got my workbench? I thought I had a workbench with me. Uh, probably I forgot it back there, so let's make a new one. On the workbench, craft us some signs. Let's put it right here, and let's see how the charcoal is coming along. It's fine. So, yeah, produce some more, and now we need to make some signs. Uh, won't be many, but well least a few all right so that's good um, let's go back to the eats road pig is drowning don't dare to step on my eat road eats road <laughs> One, two, three. The signs. One, two, three. And another sign. And we're gonna continue until we reach the sand back there. So, like this and the last one. Around here, one sign was left. Yes, okay. And now we gotta pick up some water. And um, in case you wonder why I don't pick it up from the sea that is all around me, well, if you do that, um, you will spoil up your water flows and and you get some kind of pools and stuff. And I don't want that, um, I want to keep the water surface smooth so. 
go water water again again and we go back pick up some water again and basically yeah within five to ten minutes or so um, <coughs> we got another section of the eat throat and if you get the groove of it okay I messed something up if you get the groove of it it's pretty fast yeah this happens sometimes you mess something up you gotta correct it um, also a side effect of recording and talking at the same time you see how the water gets messed up that's when you remove source blocks so that's why I don't want to pick the water you could do that you know pick the water from the sea but I want to do it like that to keep it look nice uh, damn I miss I can't <laughs> miscount it again yeah but um, you get the principle um, creating an eats road is fun I think it's a awesome design and quickly finish that uh, wasting some glass but well enough sand over here um, I need to do some terraforming anyways <coughs> okay there we go another part of the eats road um, yeah I need to do some terraforming anyways if you come over here I started a bit um, this area already and here to get some sand and here and um, as you can see mm, there's a lot of small water pools I want to have a real big circular shaped beach and thus I need to chop off some sand over here and put some over there and do some terraforming and probably have a bridge up there going to the massive um, little rock here and inside of that we could have a cool little uh, mountain cave like yeah, base and if you look at, at the structures here I think it would be cool if you have uh, windows in here or something and don't change too much of it just have it cool in the inside mm, and also um, I want to have some wooden designs out here kind of outdoorsy but modern clean look got lots of feedback so far keep on giving me ideas and don't forget to take part in my competition I will put a link to it in the description it's all about creativity send all stuff in you know about Minecraft you got about Minecraft it doesn't have to be in-game um, videos everything is allowed and with that said and a little view back at our newly created part of the Eats Road. I want to say thank you. I hope you like it. Bye bye.